Science is beautiful. That's the reason I love it, because it tells you how the world works, everything, all the rules behind it. The silicon wafer solar cells is the dominant product on the market. It got an efficiency between 15% and 20%. However, the price of this kind of product is very expensive. There is a low cost alternative of this product that is called thin film solar cells. However, it got very low efficiency at this moment. It's only about 6.5%. We can actually implement our nanotechnology with these thin film solar cells to dramatically increase the, the efficiency. The nanoparticle, rather than having a smooth surface, it has lumpy surface. And these engineered nanoparticle, they can scatter light more broadly and also scatter different color of the light into the solar cell. With this Laurel Fellowship, I'm going to work on the further increase the efficiency of the solar cells because there is a big challenge with the current silicon solar cells. It can absorb very well the visible region, but it doesn't really capture any ultraviolet energy from the sun. My solution is using quantum dots, a very intriguing nanomaterial, to absorb the UV region light and convert that into the visible region, which can be absorbed by silicon solar cells. In the current race for the more efficient solar cell, the Swinburne team is at the forefront. Currently, we are in collaboration with the world's largest solar manufacturer, Suntech. It will take us about um, three to four years to validate this technology. It will take another further few years to get production. When I entered the solar cell, I realized that the nanotechnology can actually do something for people, and it makes the nanotechnology really useful and meaningful to people's life. That makes me very, very excited.